Kettle now has a new feature called Kettle Copilot, an AI-powered design assistant that doesn't just support your workflow, but actually enhances it by anticipating what you need next. Kettle Copilot offers several features to streamline and elevate your design workflow, including smart suggested actions that guide you while you're designing, making the process smoother and faster. In this video, we're diving into Kettle Copilot and exploring how you can make the best use out of it. And if you're not familiar with Kettle, Kettle is an all-in-one design platform packed with tools to simplify the entire creative process, whether you're designing for print-on-demand, creating logos, or just looking for design inspiration. You can sign up and try Kettle for free using the link in the description. Now let's jump in and see what Kettle Copilot can do. Let's start by showing how you can use the Copilot to change graphics. So I'm selecting one of Kettle's templates here at random. It's a cool Santa design, and this is one of the powerful features of Kettle, to be honest. The variety of available templates that you have that you can choose and edit easily. So now, let's say we would like to change the Santa graphic, and also let's say we are not fully aware of how to use Kettle platform. This is where the Kettle Copilot comes in handy. So if you select any graphic, you can see this sign appears. This is the Kettle Copilot sign. So once you press on it, you should get a similar window like that. You will have some suggestions of similar graphics that you can use, or you can simply type what you want. They also, the Kettle Copilot also suggests some actions to you. So you can change the color, the opacity, um, and some additional items. But let's say change to an elf wearing Christmas clothing. So and press on next, and the copilot will suggest some results based on my search. And there are also view more, but let's say I don't want any of these graphics. So we, I can press, press on the replace with AI to replace the image with a unique AI image based on my prompt that I have entered in the Kettle Copilot, and voila. This is what I got, an elf wearing Christmas, and also the copilot on the left side suggests new graphics based on my prompt or on, on or based on my new graphic that I have got. And let's edit the ribbon and the text like that. And again, while I press while I'm selecting the, the text, I can also press on the copilot. And this time I get some new suggestions or some new features related to text. So I can change the color, for example, to, let's say, change color to yellow to match the word Santa at the top. And I get the yellow color and all the colors of the, the design. And the color is changed. So let's see one other example. I'm also using, I'm also choosing one random template. So if you select all of the items, you won't get the Kittle, the Copilot icon. You have to make sure that you are selecting only one item. So select the one at the back, this one here, and press on the Kittle Copilot. And again, some suggested graphics similar to the one that we have will appear in and you can choose any of these graphics and once you press on it it will be it will replace the one that you have selected however let's say change to castle and again let's see the suggestions i don't want any of these suggestions or maybe let's choose this one this time and once i press on it it will replace my graphic like so, in a, in a simple way. And you can also uh, stretch it to adjust and to fit your artboard or to fit your design. And you can change the colors from the right menu based on your likings. And this is how you can choose or this is how you can use the Kettle Copilot in designing or in replacing your graphics. However, there's still another way of using the Copilot. Let's use this example this is one of the designs that i have created in my last video so i'm selecting all the text 
on the artboard together and press on the kettle copilot and this time I'm going to change the text to something related to my design so let's say coffee lover and I'm selecting all the text on my board then I'm going to choose the tone of voice let's choose fun and press on the bulk replace text coffee lover quotes bulk replace text and again you can see that all the text on my artboard has been changed to mocha, hugs, espresso yourself, life's too short to be better. And let's use another example. So this time I'm choosing casual and press on the bulk replace text. And again the text has been changed. All the text has been changed together to copper worm and the new text at the bottom. Now let's say latte lover quotes or simply latte lover and press on the bulk replace text and again I get new text based on my prompt and this is how you can use the Kettle Copilot to bulk edit your text or graphics. Now let me show you another cool feature in Kettle. If you press on the artboard sign at the top you can add any additional artboards to your design area and from the layers panel you can select or you can toggle between all the artboards so if we press on artboard 4 for example it will be highlighted and we can delete it or stretch it as we want so let's move the screen a little bit to the side so let's press on artboard number 4 which is the new one that we have just create it and press on the delete button to delete it and if we don't want the artboard number four, 2 we can simply press on it and delete it using the space button we can move the artboard to the side and let's select the this artboard and move it to the left like so now if we want to place any of these designs on a mock-up we can simply we just need to press on the mock-up sign choose our design and press on the create mockup in our case we're going to place our Santa design on a mockup so since we are using a t-shirt template it will be automatically placed on a blank t-shirt so Kittle suggests this as a mockup and if we would like to continue using it we just need to download the mockup and it will be downloaded to our to our desktop if we're not satisfied we can simply choose between the different mockups that are available inside kettle so let's choose one of the t-shirt mockups i like this one press on it and it will be placed automatically on your artboard with the design on it stretch the design from the sides like so move it to fit the t-shirt and as you can see, whenever you move it around, it won't go outside the, the, the mock-up or the t-shirt of the mock-up. So once you're satisfied, press on the download mock-up button and also the design will be downloaded on a, a mock-up. Now we can press on the back to editor button to go back to the editor screen. This time we are going to download the design itself. To do that, press on the download button. Choose between the two artboards. You can download both designs, but in this case I'm going to, to download only the Santa design. We can upscale or change the resolution to 300. Switch on the remove background button and the optimize quality and then press on the download button and this will create or this will download the design itself in a ready for print format png 300 dpi resolution to our desktop and this is how you can use kittle mockup tool to place to see how the design looks like on a t-shirt and also this is how we can export any design from kittle to a ready for print format that's it for this video if you enjoyed 
the video please hit the like button and subscribe for further tutorials thanks for watching